What is up YouTube, Brickover24 here, and today I have a very special haul. I have a brand new package from Clone Army Customs. I have not gotten a Clone Army Customs package in in quite some time, at least a year or two. So I'm very excited to get this. Uh, quite a bit of new items in here, quite a bit of, uh, I think a few things that have been around for a while, but I can't remember exactly everything I ordered, but I know there's a decent amount of stuff in here, and I'm excited to show you guys. So. Let's get right into it. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have a decent amount of Clone Army Customs figures and accessories, mostly 501st, and I have everything here with me. At least I think this is everything I have. Uh, but a lot of the stuff is gonna go with those things, and then there's some new, a new figure in here. So you guys will see everything. Let's get right into it. So I'll save the figure for after, but I have two, well, quite a bit of different uh, custom cloths in here, actually. I have uh, one for Captain Rex. I have both the sets for, um, I have one for Captain Rex, and then I have the sets for Echo and Jesse, or not Jesse, sorry, Echo and Fives. So let's get these open, and you guys will see all of them here. Okay, so I have the cape sets for fives right here, Echo right here, and then I have just the uh, shoulder pauldron for Captain Rex. Uh, the reason I bought those is because I don't know if my figures got in the sun for too much time or what happened, but my capes pinked out um, on all those figures that I pretty much just said. So I'm going to get those capes replaced and I'll show you guys that. Okay, so I got the new capes on. I'll show you guys all those figures now. Right here we have Arc 5s. I do have the Phase 2 helmet as well, but for this case he is in his Arc armor. Um, so obviously it looks a lot better. This is a custom backpack. I think this is the same backpack that they used on the Lego Arc Trooper, uh, but I just threw that on there. <laughs> yeah, so obviously it looks way better than the capes I had on there, which obviously turned pink for some reason. I'm guessing that they just got some sunlight through the window too often or something, but Got some fresh ones on there, looking good. Next, we will move on to Echo. Got his fresh capes as well, looking good. And he has his phase two helmet on. I don't have the arc helmet, but uh, Captain Rex is actually uh, kind of a special addition in a way, because it's like half CAC, half Lego. So it's a Lego helmet and this is CAC. I just put this cape on right now. Um, I just left the black one on there because it didn't really uh, decolor at all, but then it's the rest of the Lego body as well. So <clears throat> that's like my half CAC, half Lego Captain Rex right there. So there should be some more stuff in here, which there is. Um, go ahead and show you guys everything else. So I'll save the full figure for last, and I will show you guys all the helmets and accessories next, which are pretty cool. I forgot I got some of this stuff. So I'm gonna get everything out of the bag here. So first off, I got three helmets of what I believe is the 337th, I think, or 332nd, excuse me. And I got two of the regular ones and the Captain Rex helmet. These are the uh, 501st Ahsoka Troopers, if you will, uh, 332nd. So I got helmets there. I'm going to be sticking these on some regular troopers, so I'll show you guys that. All right, so I've got two regular 501st Troopers here and then obviously my Captain Rex back here. So I'm going to stick these helmets on and we will get our 332nd Troopers, which is awesome just in time for the Clone Wars episodes that are about to start on Mandalore. Alrighty guys, so just like that, I have myself a small batch of 332nd Troopers. These helmets look awesome, as you can see. I'll get you a little close-up view here. The Captain Rex looks really nice.
Super excited to have these just in time, like I said, for the Mandalore art coming up soon in the Clone Wars. The helmets look awesome, and it wasn't very expensive to make those figures. Next, I actually grabbed something for my Phase 2 Bomb Squad Troopers, and I got a couple visors, which I thought would look good on here. So I'm going to stick those on, and we will see how that looks. So I stuck those on. This is how it looks on the right, obviously up, and then left down. I think that honestly really makes these troopers come to life. You can turn the really cheap Phase 1 Bomb Squad troopers into some pretty sick looking guys, honestly, with these helmets and visors. So great addition to the collection. Honestly, I'm glad I picked those up. I think they're only like $2.50 each. Uh, but yeah, really, really uh, happy with that. So just a couple minutes ago, I said that I didn't have the arc helmet for echo but i actually did order it in this order so now i officially have arc fives and arc echo super cool to finally get that helmet it looks awesome there's a good look yeah definitely looks way better next to fives now now that they both have their arc helmets on i also picked up this visor for commander cody it has the new little antenna on the left so i thought that would look a little bit better on there and I believe it's accurate. I can't remember 100% now off the top of my head, but I think the uh, little antenna on the left is accurate. Yeah, so it has the antenna and then it has this little uh, detail right there as well. So that looks really awesome, honestly. Glad that I picked that up to go with my Commander Cody. I also picked up a few weapons here. I meant to order two Rex pistols, but I think I just ordered one, I guess, on accident. And then it looks like I bought three Trooper Blasters. I think those are for the um, 332nd Troopers there. So I will definitely add those onto that. And then as you guys obviously have probably been waiting, I do have a full figure to open now. And obviously as a 501st fan, I could not pass up this figure. And the second this figure came out, I knew I had to order it because it is my favorite figure. As you guys will see, I have Arc Jesse here, and I did order the capes as well. That was probably in the beginning. Some of you maybe saw the capes for Jesse come out, but here we have Jesse. He is one of my favorite clone troopers. He's been in my profile picture for a long time. As you guys will see, I have the phase two version right here of Jesse, uh, but I love the Arc Trooper design for him. I'm gonna get those capes put on and show you guys the full figure. And here is the full Arc Jesse. He honestly looks amazing. Love the printing all over this figure. The helmet is awesome as well. One of my favorite parts about Jesse is his helmet design and the Arc Trooper design is honestly just beautiful as well. Love how much blue is on this figure. Super glad to have picked this guy up. I think he is now sold out on Clone Army Customs as well, so I'm glad that I got it when I did. Super awesome haul today, guys. Honestly, didn't get a ton of stuff, but it really did a lot for my Clone Army Customs collection, as you guys can see. I will get everything kind of cleaned up right here and give you an overview of everything that I picked up. Alrighty, guys, so to summarize everything here, I will just start over here. I picked up the visors for these Bomb Squad Troopers, which honestly, I think really added a lot to them. Let me know what you guys think down below. I picked up the three 332nd Ahsoka Trooper helmets. Got the Captain Rex one here, which honestly looks amazing. And then the two regular troopers as well. Picked up that visor for Commander Cody as well, which honestly looks way better than the normal one in my opinion. So I'm glad I grabbed that guy. Uh, obviously the main purchase here was Arc Jesse. Super glad to have gotten this. Let me know what you guys think of this figure down in the comments. Honestly, I am really in love with the look of him. And then I got the replacement capes for Echo and Fives. Those figures are looking way better now. Super glad that I picked those up. And then I also picked up the helmet for Echo. So overall, this haul really did a lot for my Clone Army Customs collection. Super glad with everything I picked up. I do have a lot more stuff that I do want to buy in the near future, just waiting for a sale probably. Uh, but I also wanted to show you guys that I did pick up the Jesse uh, head as well, which I think looks really good on there. So I think he's been creating a lot more heads for the clones, so I definitely want to pick some of those up in the near future. Uh, but then I also got a couple guns up here. I think this was just the second weapon I got with uh, Jesse. One more Trooper Blaster, the Rex Pistol, and then I think I got this for fives. So, so that is going to be the haul video for you guys today. I am super excited to have added all this stuff to my collection. Let me know what your favorite things are in the comments down below. 
Stay tuned for a bunch of more hauls. I do want to get another Clonomy Customs order made soon, like I said. And obviously, I just am picking up stuff left and right these days anyways. So if you guys aren't subscribed yet, it would mean a lot if you did subscribe. I do have giveaways, hauls, all sorts of stuff coming out in the near future. So stay tuned for all of that. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. That's going to be all for you guys today. Thanks again so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.